Hello. In this video, we will discuss about the frequency reuse concept. What are the clusters and how many clusters or I mean cluster size is required. And what is the relation between cluster size and channel capacity. And we will also try to understand how the frequency reuse will improve the channel capacity. Say for example, if we have uh, take a case study that is a Gujarat state. The Gujarat state we want to cover with one mobile service. For that, initially if we consider entire state to be covered by one particular cell, a state itself is a cell and for example one service provider has purchased 21 frequency spectrum from the government that is bidirectional and each frequency is divided into 8 time slots that is called time division multiple access concept. So that will give us 168 users can communicate at the same time. <coughs> so when we multiply 21 by 8 we got 168 and that is the channel capacity. That means that number of users can communicate at the same time in the provided area. So initially if we thought like entire state is one particular cell and that is going to be covered by a large uh, coverage area by the one very high height antenna which is omnidirectional and it is covering entire state in the way which is shown in this video. So this omnidirectional coverage that is a footprint of antenna that shows here this is covering entire state almost. So if we do so as per the figure we have seen at a time in entire state we can have only 160 users communication at the same time but in reality the users are lax in number and thousands of users need a communication call at the same time. So what to do? So the idea here is the frequency reuse. What is the frequency reuse? By the design of antennas the coverage areas is limited within the cell and the same group of frequencies is reused to cover another cell separated by a large enough distance to keep co-channel interference within limit. This means we have to divide our area into smaller smaller areas. Our Gujarat is to be considered a big area, a circle which is to be divided into smaller areas and later on we will provide the different frequencies to different areas and we can use the same frequency to different areas that should be specially separated enough so that the two same frequency cannot be interfere each other. So that is co-channel interference. So here if you take a state and if you try to cover this state with one particular small area say one cell, this is another cell, this is another cell, another cell. So different colors of the cell represent it contains different frequencies. So this is one particular seven cell structure and the similarly seven cell we are going to be repeat and here you can see the same color this blue color and this blue color will have the same frequencies. This yellow color and this yellow color will have the same frequencies. So we are using the same frequency for a number of times. Here we have used for two times and similarly to cover entire states we can further increase the same cluster reuse. So here as many clusters as we draw that amount of frequency reuse we have done. So it is easily observed here that we have used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 time frequency reuse we have done. So for that if we have done that the 6 time so what should be the improvement of channel capacity. If you remember the last time which we have calculated the entire state we had 21 frequency which is multiplied by 8 and that has gives us 168 users could communicate at the same time. Now what we have done, we have divided this entire state into the very very smaller smaller areas. So we have got one, this is one cluster, one cluster means a number of cells which are not using the same frequency. So there is no any co-channel cell in the cluster and the same cluster is going to be repeat. So that is called frequency reuse. So let us calculate what happened if we have used six times. So now 
we have 21 frequency each frequency have 8 time slots and that is going to be used 4 6 time so that gives us 1006 user can communicate at the same time in a state so this is the advantage of frequency reuse the mobile service provider how to purchase spectrum once how to pay it once to the government and they can use the same spectrum for so many times and they can uh, serve the purpose as many users as demanded the call at the same time they can serve by having more and more frequency views in the state so this is an example which shows a uh, six a reuse actually there is a so much times they are reusing the same spectrum so what is the frequency reuse the design procedure of allocating channel group for all cellular base station within system is called frequency reuse or frequency planning so we have to allocate all the channels into a cluster and then that cluster is going to be a repeat so this is called frequency reuse further to open up our uh, visualization how we are able to serve the maximum number of users in a state we can further reuse the same structure here for example we have done for the sixth time in next one we will try to see the state is going to be covered by more number of cell if you observe here we still use seven cell cluster but now the size of cell is small so we have to use this by the using less height of the antenna and less transmitter power so this is called footprint of antenna for one particular cell so i have to be very careful that my footprint that is a power limitation of uh, my particular vts should be reached here otherwise co channel cell interference will be more so right now i have tried to decrease the power level and the height of the antenna and i have achieved low radius cell and so now more number of frequency reuse are possible so again i am going to cover the state with this first cluster second cluster and third cluster again we are going to repeat it the fourth cluster this one is a fifth cluster this one is a sixth cluster seven eight nine ten eleven so eleven times we have reused the purchase spectrum that is 21 frequency in this case so 21 frequency multiply by 8 and that is going to be reused 11 times so now we got a new capacity 1848 people are able to communicate at the same time so as many number frequency reuse we do we got higher and higher channel capacity for the sake of more visualization i have further tried to divide in a further smaller area cell you see the size of cell here and the size of cell i am going to be considered in the next slide it is a to very much difference so it is a very low size cluster and the cell and going to be repeat here for as many number times as we want to cover the state so you can see how the channel capacity is going to be increased If you remember last time we had used 11 times and now in this new structure because of small size of the cell we can have more number of cell in a state we can have more number of cluster in a state that means we can have more frequency reuse and that will increase our capacity so this is going to be happen just like the real scenarios available in every state and you can see now we have covered almost the state and we have used 31 time frequency we use the same cluster and you if you still see there are still chances to have two more three more cluster to be cover the state so roughly uh, we could say like if you use 31 time so again the same procedure 21 frequency we do have 8 time slots and that is going to be multiplied 31 time so now we have 5208 users in a cell 
in a state sorry so 5000 that means we started with very small figure that is the 21 multiply by it that was around 168 and now it is a 5208 so this is power of frequency reuse so i think it is very much clear to you that how this idea vodafone airtel bsnl are going to be provide a huge capacity to us that is using frequency reuse in the next slide we will try to see <coughs> in frequency reuse the distance of cell should be same yes the distance of reuse cell must be same because based on that we can calculate the co-channel distance because co-channel interference is very very crucial in GSM once we understand properly how much co-channel interference we can plan further to reduce it and we can further increase our channel capacity so So based on that, let us understand in the figure we see the blue cell to blue cell distance, yellow cell to yellow cell distance, they are the co-channel cells. So that distance you see that is almost same and so we can say like we can predict how much co-channel interference is there. So there is a specific pattern, based on this pattern we can consider where is the co-channel cell. So we will also discuss uh, in coming lectures what should be the geometry of co-channel cell, how it could be located. But as of now, I can and I can show you. You just go one center of the cell to straight any two cell, and just move some angle that is say for example 60 degree, and reach to another cell. So that will be your co-channel cell. So this way you can find any co-channel cell like this green cell to to straight, and then this way another green channel you can see this yellow to straight and then again the way you move at particular angle you will get yellow so these are the frequency reuse cell so distance of all co-channel cell must be same so what should be the typical cluster size can we have any number of cell in a cluster the answer is no why because if we take uh, for example five cell in a cluster so that is not possible because that will not give the uniform repeat pattern which should give common distance between different users so as per the geometry if we consider n is the number of cell in a cluster if we consider the equation that is gives us exactly how many cell in a cluster is possible so for that <coughs> let us take n equal to i square plus ij plus j square where i and j are integer and that is to be considered the two axis of the geometry let us say if i move i into i equal to 1 so i moved in one particular axis one cell if say i equal to 2 that i have moved one particular direction two cell so like if i say here in this particular figure i have moved in this direction that means i have kept i equal to 2 and then particular angle and j equal to 1 so i reach to my particular co-channel cell so this i and j are geometrically two axis on which we have to travel our co-channel location so possible values of n are 1 3 4 7 and 12 and so on so we have to just uh, put one by one the equation in this particular figure i equal to 0 j equal to 0 i equal to 0 j equal to 1 i equal to 1 j equal to 0 i equal to 1 j equal to 1 so on and based on that we got this table <coughs> sorry so if you see this table where i and j are variables and if we put this coordinates 1 0 1 1 0 2 1 2 2 2 so we got this cluster size and this cluster size are just 1 3 4 7 12 13 so on so this way we can understand the frequency we use cluster pattern so here for the sake of the understanding and visualization this shows uh, the reuse factor is 3 so 3 cell are there the entire frequencies is divided into 3 cell and they are going to be repeat then this is a structure of 4 cell so you can see the 4 different colors then the same colors are going to be repeat this is a 7 cell cluster which we have seen the example in this entire video this is something about 12 cell cluster so entire frequencies are divided into 10 different cells and then it is going to be repeat so these are the different structures 
of particular cell. So what is the difference?